Hi, I'm Owen Honey, your local DIY enthusiast from Boulders. Are you looking for a coffee table that is both versatile and functional, and maybe also a bit of a space saver? Well, let me show you how you can make this coffee table that might suit your home. The tools and products required to complete this task are laminate pine, four pieces of 550 mil by 455 mils, four pieces of 540 mils by 555 mils, and two pieces of 495 mils by 455 mils. You will also need caster wheels, a set of hinges, two baskets, a cordless drill, pencil, tape measure, Craig pocket hole tool, Craig wood screws, 16 mil wood screws, four F clamps, and to finish off the coffee table, you'll need fired earth soft wax, a cloth, and a sander. Now it's time to put this all together. This coffee table consists of a couple of pieces. The smallest of this is the shelf. Then I've got the sides and the top. And we're gonna assemble this using our Craig Pocket Tool Jig. Now the Craig Pocket Tool Jig is quite a versatile product. And what it helps us do is conceal those screws that we're gonna put on place. So you won't see any screws on the outside of the box. Everything takes place on the inside and secures it all together. I'll show you how to use this. So before we get started with the Craig Tool, you can see there are different markings at the bottom and that indicates the thickness of the wood. So for this, it is 21 mil thick wood. So I'm just gonna push these two tabs together and push it out to that marking over there. It is 22 mils, but for this, it is perfect. So that is set at 22 mils, and our collar is also set at a depth of a 22 mil screw. So that is going to drill straight into the wood using our drill. So what we're gonna do is clamp the Craig pocket tool to our piece of wood and you'll see that is right on the edge and is clamped in place. Next thing, take your drill, push it in and drill away. We're going to make three holes in this piece of wood. So you're gonna repeat the process on the other side panel of your coffee table. Three holes right on the edge and on the other edge. So six in total. So now we've clamped the side panel to the bench using the F clamps and we've also attached the top panel to the side panel and all we have to do now is screw this in place. Okay, a little trick when putting in a shelf in a cube or anywhere and you want to make sure that the spacing is correct. Take pieces of wood that you know is a certain height. In this instance, it's 26 centimeters high and we're going to put it up on, there we go, that's 26 centimeters. It's the same height, put it on both sides and then you know for sure that it's 26 centimeters from bottom to top and your shelf will match exactly what you're doing in the other cube. Now what we're gonna do is put these nylon coasters on the bottom of the box. Now, we just put it about a centimeter and a half from each end and screw them in place. There we go. So that's one caster on each corner, securing them fastly, and then we'll complete the rest of the project. So give your coffee tables a good sanding down using an 80 to 100 grit sandpaper, smoothing down all those rough surfaces. Time now to start applying your soft wax. This is a soft wax from Fired Earth, and all you have to do is have a nice soft cloth at hand, 
wipe it in there and give it a thin layer. Just in nice circles, you can go with the grain of the wood as well. Remember, it's a thin layer. Let it dry for four to eight hours and then you can apply a second layer. Just brings out a bit of color in this beautiful pine wood. Gives it a satin sheen finish. With the use of an F-clamp, attach your hinge to the one edge of the coffee table and then attach to the other coffee table. The final piece in the puzzle is putting the drawers in place. And there you go, your coffee table is complete. You can configure it like you want to on this hinge system. It looks fantastic as well with this wax finish. It just brings the wood to life. Well, all the products we use in this insert are available online or in store. Otherwise, if you'd like to find out more projects just like this, please go to our blog on our website, which is www.boulders.co.za. Get to Boulders, get it done.